Hello everyone, my name is Manel Fernandez and I am the Deputy Director of the JB Jarafi Lamor. Today we would like to show you the bioremediation process we are implementing in our Enketer Zone 1 project. From the time the contaminated soil arrives at the treatment center until the remediation process is finished and the RTC is achieved. As you will see, this treatment center has been designed mimicking a factory with a continuous process and with different areas and activities. Please join me on this tour through our treatment center. I hope you enjoy it. Our first station is the way bridge at the entrance, where the data of origin of the soil excavated is collected and recorded using a barcode system. After the way bridge, the soil is stockpiled in the designated areas based on TPH run, haulage distances and excavation depth. In order for the soil to be ready for the bioremediation processes, it is necessary to be prepared. The first stage of this preparation is the screening and crushing to ensure that the size particle of the soil to be treated is less than 20 mm. The second stage is the addition of solid amendments directly to the dump tracks. The quantities and type of amendments have been predetermined, taking into account the capacity of the dump tracks used for this activity and also the initial TPH of the soil transported. After solid amendments have been added, it is time to lay down the soils in the biopads in batches of 9,000 tons. Each batch is composed of seven biopiles of 150 meters long, 5 meter wide, and 2 meter high. Once the soil is in the pile, baseline sample is taken and we are ready to start the treatment. The treatment will last between four and six months, and the main activities to be carried out during this time are the tilling and irrigation of the piles. For this, we are using the windrow turner, which allows us to till the soil very efficiently and irrigate it with water and other liquid amendments such as surfactant, bacterial inoculum or urea when necessary. Monitoring is also a key aspect of this period as it will give us the necessary information on the progress of the bioremediation. Information needed to take the decisions that will lead us to reach the remediation target on schedule. And finally, once the RTC is achieved, the soil will be removed from the pads to make room for the new batches and sent to designated areas for the treated soil.